The first of Glastonbury's headliners will be taken to the stage today, as the highly anticipated festival really ramps up. This year's festival lineup will feature some huge acts, including Guns N' Roses, Elton John, and Arctic Monkeys. The fourth piece and a band from Sheffield will take to the Pyramid stage tonight, after fears they wouldn't be able to perform because lead singer Alex Turner fell ill with acute laryngitis. However, it's now been confirmed the band will continue to headline the gig, despite having to cancel a performance earlier in the week. Meanwhile, Los Angeles-based rock band Guns N' Roses, known for their 1988 hit Sweet Child O' Mine, will take to the stage on Saturday at 9.30 p.m. for a two-hour set. Lastly, music legend Elton John, 75, will close the festival on Sunday with his last performance in the UK, marking the end of his farewell Yellow Brick Road tour. His husband David Furnish has revealed there will be four surprise guests during his set, with speculation Harry Styles could be one of the mystery names. For these artists it's no doubt one of the biggest gigs of the year, but they might not be paid as much as you think. Here's how the fees for performing at Glastonbury work. How much do Glastonbury headliners get paid? Glastonbury is one of the biggest festivals of the year, with hundreds of thousands of people flocking to see the biggest international stars in the world. They've had some massive headliners over the years, including David Bowie, Beyonce, and Adele. You might assume playing such a huge gig would mean the musicians are being compensated with a pretty hefty sum, so you might be surprised to learn that it's not as much as you'd think. Festival co-organizer Emily Evis, youngest daughter of the festival's founder Michael Evis, confirmed that artists get paid 10% less than what they are typically paid by other festivals. That is because Glastonbury prefers to donate £2 million to charities every year, which dispels the myth that some headliners are paid £1 million, as the number is likely much lower. In 2017 interview with BBC Radio 6, she explained, We're not in a situation where we're able to just give people enormous amounts of money. So we're really grateful for the bands that we get because they're basically doing it for the love of it. Founder Michael once revealed that Coldplay and Paul McCartney were both paid around £200,000 for past headline sets. He said at the time, I paid £200,000 for Paul McCartney and for Coldplay, and although it sounds a lot, they could have charged me far more. The exact number each 2023 headliner gets paid will be kept under wraps, but in an interview with Metro, music consultant specializing in live music venues and festivals Lyle Binyan, said, the likes of Elton John and Guns N' Roses, who have decades of global fame behind them, can likely command higher prices running into the pound 250,000 plus range. In an interview with Somerset Live, festival organizer Rob DeBank revealed that Glastonbury's budget is under £500,000 per headliner. He said, they cap their budget and even the headliners don't get paid more than 500 grand, I think, which is cheap for some of the headliners and they've had a lot of them. Why does Glastonbury pay less than other festivals? Although Terry's no bigger UK festival than Glastonbury, it doesn't pay its headliners more than others. For other UK festivals, headliners can earn upwards of £1 million, according to Billboard. The reason is that Glastonbury aims to raise money for charity, which means headliners are paid significantly less. Each year the festival raises funds for charities including Oxfam and Greenpeace, which means that they have a smaller budget, no doubt made even smaller by the cost of living crisis. 
But it's not the money that draws huge performers to Glastonbury, it's the festival's reputation and acts can rake in huge amounts of money after performing. Emily told George Ezra's podcast, because of the TV and because of the exposure that they get, they do go on to do really well afterwards, so they all sell records afterwards. So we're saying look, come and do this but even though Terry's a small fee, we can almost guarantee afterwards you'll make up for it. Do you have a story to share? Email us at your mirror at mirror. Co.uk Melting